Welcome back, everyone, to the next installment of What the Hell is Happening in Clive Barker's Undying. Other than our twirling the gun, of course. We open the door and this happens and I'm scared and I want to go home. Not that the mansion's really any safer, but I think that you know what I mean. So, uh, the objective here is to, I don't know, explore, get out, kill, st kill stuff. Alright, let's do that. Let's go ahead and reload that game. That was the dumbest thing I've done so far. I'm only two installments in, to be fair. Whoop. Actually, no, no. Let's use the stone. I wanna knock this thing away. Splemo. Yeah. Yeah. What the hell? What? Oh, you little. Yeah, Jake. Well, at least you got a better look at this monster now. You know how I said that I'm having the problem I have with Deus Ex, where this thing comes out dark? Oh, great. Well, I I do tweak the, uh... Ooh! I do tweak the brightness and all that, but the problem is that when particularly bright things come up, they are really bright, like the journal entries. And when particularly dark places come up, it's still hard to see. So I do apologize for that. What are you? A health vial. Is that inventory? It might just be instant health, which I can't complain about. Oh, I still hate this place. I wanna go home. And I don't mean the mansion, I mean just like my house, wherever the hell that is. Not in Ireland, because I was kicked out. Let's go in here. I will surely be safe this way. I'm already looping. Is there anything to do out here? Or do I have to just stand on this? I will stand on this. Whoa, oh, oh! Dude! Awesome! Okay. Uh, ugh. Not much like in the look of this place. Whoa, hello. This thing really is, like, close range only. You see how I use no ammo? Aw, oh, yeah. And my magic comes back. The annoying thing about those enemies is they can literally seem to pop out of nowhere. Again, this health vial did not this did not heal me. What did that do? I gained a health vial, and for what? You know what? I'm actually gonna go ahead and save now. Can I can I not save here? I can make a new save file. Is there no such thing as overwriting in this game? Fine. Now where am I? Whoa! Whoa. I'll show you real magic. Real magic? Well, I only have one spell, dude. One offensive spell. Cut me some slack. Crap. I'm gonna be over here. Goodbye. I don't know what that sound. Whoa! That hurt. I want to get that, and so I shall... Tibetan War Cannon? A winner is me. I has a new weapon. Does this thing use ammo? Hello? And the Garden Key. I mean, yeah, I ran away like a little... Alright, seriously, why is she bleeding up? I mean, yeah, I ran away like a little pansy from what's-his-name, who I assume was Otto, but... Hey! Right? Can't complain! This, I don't think this uses bullets, either. I might have a sort of infinite ammo weapon, although I bet it isn't very strong. I feel bad using up these health vials, though. And yes, I see the journal entry. It gave me just a moment to heal. All right. I have heard of this weapon only in story. Created and forged of gold, it is a mystical weapon of Tibetan folklore that was lost in a mountainous area during a great battle. They called it the War Cannon. Rumor has it that the person who holds this weapon must be pure of heart for it to function correctly. I seem to be able to discharge some sort of cold sphere out of it. I wonder if it could slow down these bastard creatures. Fair question. Saving time. Now can I... 
I can overwrite. But not that. What? Like, what? Alright. Fine, be that way. What? I hear snarling! Oh! <laughs> oh man! Boom! Hey! Well, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do what we've all been expecting. Heart! Heart! Yeah! Mati lives after all. And even better, these things don't! Bye! Ooh. Feel the burn. Or the free shut up. Bye! We are done with them, right? Because that kind of took a while. Open door? Stuck. Oh, you. Oh, man. Hey, you try rubbing me out, buddy. Oh, oh. No. Bad. Bad monster. For God's sake, are there unlimited number of these things or what? You're supposed to die, dude. You're supposed to fall down. Oh, the fireplace is out now. So I am supposed to go here, eventually. But still, there's, like, even though the fireplace is, does this door open? Whoa! Excuse me! You little... Well, okay, now I can finally go to that stupid Stop. garden. Oh, you lousy... I gotta say, I'm enjoying this. Jammed. Whoa! I think you spawned right behind me. Oh, hey! It's like that. I heard snarling. I'm not ready. I can't jump. There we go. Seriously. Where are you? Won't budge. Oh, it's my own freaking weapon. I feel like an idiot. Yeah! The power of Tibet, baby! Oh, this actually opens? Oh, that's right, this is the dead end room. That had no purpose whatsoever. Ugh. Not nearly as fast as my pistol, but I can get used to this. Boom shakalaka. Jammed. Back downstairs we go. Jammed. Whoa, you were right here, huh? Oh, you lousy... Okay, now I'm pretty sure this is the other way, but still, check it out. Nope, I'm doing it right. Yeah. Oh my god. Excuse me. Do let me move. That was close. I'm just not gonna fight these things, because there's way, way too many of them. Bad. Dude, seriously? This is ridiculous. Dude, this is way too much. Jump. Oh, that's bad. Oh, this sucks. Ooh, that was close. I'm gonna save now. This is ridiculous. Stuck. Alright, alright, alright. I guess I'll just charge this damn thing. Sure. Oh, for God's sake. Jammed. 
Where do we go? The other way, I guess? Was the game just trying to say wrong way the whole time? Excuse me. Uh, <laughs> this really sucks. This way then? Ooh. Well, that was worth it. Oh my god. Don't tell me to kill all these things. Am I done here? Jammed. That's where I came from. On the other hand, there is this other door. Although, wasn't that locked? Won't budge. I'm keeping this thing charged anyway. Okay. This weapon's flipping out. Oh, thanks. Jammed. It was there the whole time. You know... Time to enter the scary hallway. S seriously, just piss off. Now you're just annoying. Whoa. This is really too much. Crap. Jammed. Oh, I'm making my way back. This is good. Oh my god. There's a third. Good. This is good. Ow. These things are everywhere. This is ridiculous. Are we good? No. Oh, that was close. Oh, my God. I tell you, this is out of control. There. Won't budge. Goody. I think I'm good. Nope. Ooh, health pack. Jammed. Good. I'm clearing the place out. You can't uh, can't deny that. Won't budge. Like seriously, this game went from a couple of howlers to just throwing these enemies at me. Now where am I? Okay, I'm finally back up here. I'm saving again. I know I'm saving a lot, but dude, did you see what this game just did to me? Seriously? <sighs> okay. Oh my god. I don't even know which way is the right way to go. Ooh, I knew I heard something rustling. I like the way it creeps around the hallway like that. Ooh, that was close. Oh my god. Oh, I want this. They knocked over the bus. Do you like that? What? An, an ether trap? Hold on. What the hell is that? According to legend, ether traps have the ability to tap into another ethereal plane of existence. And in doing so, the traps themselves become black holes in which spirits can be whisked away and temporarily trapped in another dimension. And while I'm certain that these magical weapons were not meant for our eyes, I'm always humbled when my course of studies proved truth to legend. Yep, sure enough, they're in my inventory now. That's kind of amazing! There. Sorry, I'm bad at selecting health, and yes, I am seriously saving again. I'm glad I took the dead end path, because I don't even remember ever picking those up in the previous playthrough. Maybe I didn't. Or maybe I did in my memory's bad. It's been a long time since I played this at all. Need a key. 
key. Oh god. There's another key I need. Jammed. Now what? I'm waiting for monsters to show up behind me at every single turn. I guess I'm lucking out. Locked. Aaron's room? Yeah, okay. I wanna go in there. Oh! Whoa! Uh, excuse me. I wonder. I am going to save. And I'm gonna try an ether trap. This might be awesome. Oh, he has to walk into it. Good thing I saved. Although that did look really cool. How do I get that then? Oh, he's impervious. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Scry. Nothing. He's playing me for a fool. Yeah. I'm pure of heart. I'm pure of heart. Oh my god, that was stupid of me. How, can I duck under him? Fine, screw you. Get you on my own time. Jerk face. Whoa, whoa, what? That can't be good. Did I just get like super duper locked out? Whoa, hello. Oh, you little. Whoa. Well, I'm taking care of all the enemies at once. Damn. Oh, you little... Seriously, how many of these things are there? Uh. Ow. I'm getting sloppy here. Got a hazy vision and everything. I'm just gonna move on. I really don't know if those things infinitely spawn or not. I like the look of this. Whoa, hold up. Oh, just in time. Now. I can jump through it? I thought the portal was the secret part. But that's way cooler! Oh my god, where am I? This is pretty awesome. Sweet, 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 sweet. What? I... okay. Apparently I can do that when the context calls for it. Let him up, baby. What did I just do? Do I have a new power? I think I might. Now I've got your power! Dispel. Oh, I guess I had to jump into the mirror to dispel the portal, maybe? I'm fairly certain this can stop or affect any and all magic I may encounter. I might try to spell an obstacle of smaller magnitude, lest it fail in my most dire time. Good call. Yeah, it can't go through, sure enough. Until... Oh. Yes. Okay there, sorry about that everyone. Um, I had quit the game without saving, and I keep forgetting that this doesn't have like the autosave feature like Alice, so I sent myself back. I'm in the same room as I was when I just faded out, it's just that uh, my health may be a little different because I uh, respawned in front of Aaron when he was still pushing me back. So that's kind of embarrassing. But I still got a good 10 minutes or so to see what's going on with this place. Lots of rooms though. 
I don't feel safe. When do I feel safe in this moment? The workroom. Oh god, I'm gonna be coming back to all this, aren't I? I don't wanna. I need a key. Uh, another key. Dumbwaiter? Oh, I can actually go in this one. Oh! Secret area or necessary? Ah. Well, I can't go back up this way, but this is where I needed to go. Oh, a howler. Yeah, alright, buddy. Yeah. Not so hot now, are ya? I still am wary of other howlers. I heard one. Whoa, hello. Well, the cook's dead. I can go that way, I'd rather not. I can go this way, I would really rather not. And that's the way I have to go, so I'll check the scary places first. Oh man, I don't wanna. Whoa! Nice jump, but not good enough. Man, this cook got destroyed. Where am I and what's the point? Oh, health. Can never say no to that. Won't budge. Okay, so this place is basically good for a health pack. And for a flawless victory, I will take it. Now for the scary bar. I wow, I can barely see. This must be a nightmare for you, because I am not seeing anything. Seriously, it's not just you. Like, this is the sight, this vision is ridiculous for me. That's a little better, but it's still friggin' dark. Another health pack. Stuck. Locked door. Stuck. Locked door. Oh! Bullets. This place is good for two health. Whoa! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Dude, seriously? Oh, I forgot there are death animations for the monsters. That's really awesome. Okay, well I spawn back here. I'll try that one more time now that I know what I'm doing. Whoa! Hello. I'll make this one quick. Jammed. Now that I know what's up, it won't be nearly as bad. Let's go through the misty room first. God, I can't see. Whoa! I totally forgot that this game had unique animations for when enemies kill you. I really should die to the acid-spitting Cthulhu-looking things. Because that would make for good visual. What the hell? Oh! I guess I get effect- I guess this thing actually has a blast radius that affects me. That's a shame. But seriously, this thing has more HP or what? Like, why- why didn't this thing die? There, Jesus. Again, sorry about the visuals. You can't see anything. And it's not just you. I swear. Molotov cocktail. I... Wow, I cannot see. Okay. Whew. Well, I think we know what Molotov cocktails are good for. Let's just check the, uh... Scary room again. Where's your buddy? There you are. Bad. Good. I'm gonna have to remember that. The monsters have unique kill animations. Goody. Garden time. This place is big. Damn it. Oh, whatever. Take one step further. Oh! Oh, no, no, no! Do not kill that man! 
Ow. Fine, hit me. Don't hit him. You little... Seriously. I love how he just casually walks back. Like, well, monster's dead. Think nothing of it. Talk to me. Give me something. Heal me. Give me items. Wow, I should kill you. Whatever, I saved the gardener. That's the that, who knows. Maybe I'll get karma points for it. Ugh, I should kill him. Just for not rewarding me. Oh hey! Another guy. Maybe you'll be less useless than your friend. You son of a stuck. What, what are you doing here? Just tell me where that trail heads off to. Bethany used to go horseback riding in the hills, but that was so long ago. Yeah, thanks. Won't budge. Oh my god, I need so many keys. This is ridiculous. Well, whatever, we're getting through alright. And I've already knocked off two dead ends. Stuck. Yeah, I didn't think so. Stuck. Didn't think so. Now this looks promising. What can you tell me about Lisbeth? I've seen her. I've seen poor Lisbeth on the heather. When? I was coming back to the manor one evening, and I saw a silhouette perched atop a hill. At first, I thought it was a banshee, but I caught a glimpse of her face by the family mausoleum. It was Lisbeth, poor dear family mausoleum? It's to the west of the main house, through the trees. Is that near the standing stones, by chance? Standing stones? You have no need to go out there. There's nothing but bad luck and suffering for all who visited the island. I'll unlock the gate to the outer grounds, but I assure you that venturing out to the standing stones will lead to no good. That was kind of hard to hear, but hey, the man's gonna unlock a gate for me, so he instantly scores points. Jammed. Thank you kindly. Whoa! Oh, we're really going out all the way to the mausoleum. Oh, this place looks intimidating. First, I finally spoke with the servant. The maid said had seen Lisbeth. He was convinced he saw her perched on a hill, watching him. West of the manor, the family mausoleum seems the first place to investigate, and here we are. This looks foreboding. Ugh, get the... Yeah. Yep. I feel safe already. Well, with this disturbing little visual, I will cut the installment. Well, we certainly made a lot of progress today. We got out of that creepy Otherworld area, and, um... Even though it looked like we could probably fight that guy, I highly doubt that that was a battle we were supposed to win. I really think we were supposed to run away, grab that war cannon, get the hell out of there. And speaking of powering up, we also got Molotov cocktails, ether traps, and of course, the dispel, um, spell. And we used it to get further into the house, past Aaron anyway, that guy's a jerk. And then we finally made it all the way at last, to the freaking garden. Too bad the cook was dead, but you know what? We got a good payoff for it anyway. Sorry, lady, but, you know, we have our priorities. Talking to the groundskeeper and all that. And he led us straight to the mausoleum, where, presumably, Lisbeth may be residing. I hope she doesn't try to kill us, but... Who am I kidding? You know she's going to. Hell, she already has. She threw stuff at us earlier. I don't know if Aaron's benevolent or not, but Lisbeth seems like she's off her rocker, so we'll see how that goes. Until next time, everyone.